Tesla's market capitalization has hit $1 trillion on the back of a deal that it's made with Hertz to roll out EVs into Hertz's rental car fleet. I'm going to look at what's happening to Tesla's share price and whether or not the significant price increases that we've seen with Tesla are justified or whether its price might be a little bit bubbly. Now, my name is Mark. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. If you have any thoughts about what's happening with Tesla, it would be interesting to hear those in the comments below. Okay, so let's briefly check out what's happening to Tesla's share price, and then we can go into the article that's focusing on Tesla's recent moves in relation to Hertz. Here you can see Tesla's share price, and I'm getting this from Stake, which is an online trading platform where you can buy and sell shares in the US and other markets commission free. Now, it's a reasonably good platform. If you sign up using the link in the description below and my referral code, you can get a free stock if you sign up. So free stuff is always good, so do check them out. I think they're pretty decent, at least as good as many of the others. But anyway, on to Tesla's share price. What you can immediately see here is it has risen significantly over the past day. Now, the most relevant thing right now is the market cap. The market cap is around $1 trillion. This is an all-time high for Tesla, so it is significant. It also makes Tesla the most valuable of these automakers out there which is a bit of an issue given that Tesla at the moment certainly doesn't have the sales of something like VW Group and certainly doesn't have the sales of something like Ford. So really the prices being factored in with Tesla are factoring in future growth as opposed to current cash flows. Nevertheless, we're seeing a significant market capitalization right now. Now, if we have a look at what's happening to the share price over the past little period, we can see it has been continually going up. So, for example, it's continued going up over the past year. Now, it did have a little bit of a blip where it went down slightly. I.e., it went up, then went back down, and then went back up over $1,000 per share. So, again, significant price increases here. Now, that's over the past year. If you have a look over the past couple of years, we can see similar things. And, in fact, it went up exponentially or near exponentially in 2020. And you can see that right here. Significant growth. From the beginning of 2020, it went up from it's just under $200 per share. It went up to over $1,000 per share or just over 1000 Now, that told you this five-fold increase, significant increase in the share price. Now, coming at this from the angle of a financial expert here, one would have to think through this. And that five-fold increase would really only be justified if at least one of two things occurred. Either A, its present earnings went up significantly, although it still had relatively stable long-term growth, or B, future growth prospects went up significantly so as to justify that massive price rise. Whichever is the case, there needs to be a fundamental reason for that price rise for it to be maintained in the long term. Otherwise, of course, it would just be frothy. There needs to be a fundamental reason for the price increase. So we can see what's been happening to Tesla's share price. The question is what recent developments might have spurred the most recent surge over $1 trillion. And in reality, it is likely related to positive recent announcements. There's been some positive information about deliveries Tesla's done, but also most recently, positive information about Tesla's being rolled out into Hertz's rental fleet. And we can look at some of the reporting on that. So here's some reporting on Tesla's move into rental fleets. It says here in CNBC, and in an article by Samantha Subin, Tesla hits $1 trillion market cap for the first time after Hertz says it will buy 100,000 electric vehicles. A significant order for Tesla. Definitely very positive news. The key points in the article. Tesla hit a $1 trillion market cap for the first time after Hertz said on Monday that it would order 100,000 electric vehicles. News of the deal brought Tesla's stock to a record high just one day after trading over $900. Deal comes more than a year after Hertz filed for bankruptcy during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, as demand for travel and rental vehicles dropped. Now, Hertz, of course, is in a significantly better position than it once was, but of course, Hertz has had issues for quite some time. So it's not as if Hertz has been free of trouble for an extended period. Hertz has had some problems. Nevertheless, we can continue reading on what they're saying. So in the article, they say, 
Tesla hit a $1 trillion market cap on Monday, following the news that Hertz is ordering 100,000 electric vehicles to build out its EV fleet by the end of 2022. The company joins trillion dollar market cap companies such as Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft. News of the deal brought Tesla stock to more than $1,000 on midday, or at midday, a new record high for the shares after they'd broke 900. The stock closed up 12.66% at about $1,024 per share. Strong EU sales and a bullish analyst call further boosted Tesla's stock price. Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas raised his price target on Tesla to $1,200 a share from $900 on Sunday. Jado Dynamics said on Monday that Tesla's Model 3 electric sedan became the first fully electric vehicle to top new car sales overall in Europe in September. Tesla CEO Elon Musk celebrated the milestone on Twitter a minute before market close. And then his tweet here, wild $1 trillion times. The deal with Hertz, which will bring in a reported $4.2 billion for Tesla, is the largest ever purchase of electric vehicles, Bloomberg previously reported. Tesla could not be reached for further comment. So that's what we're seeing in terms of immediate drivers of a Tesla share price. Now, in terms of whether this is representative of what will happen long term, we need to think about, is Tesla really justifying this share price? We saw exponential growth in 2020. For that to really occur, we would need to have seen significant improvements, five-fold improvements in the growth prospects. Now, certainly it has improved. The business model for Tesla has been more validated by things such as this recent Hertz announcement. However, certainly it is not at the stage where it is necessarily more valuable, or at least should not be, than other car manufacturers, even just on sheer car volumes. Further, when you factor in growth, basically every other manufacturer is bringing out an EV of some kind. Porsche, for example, has the Taycan. Ford has brought out the Mustang or Mark E. Then we've got Mercedes with its whole EQ line. BMW has had its I line. So we've seen various other manufacturers bring out EVs. A lot of them have been rubbish. A lot of them have been very expensive and worse than Tesla's. However, that problem is dissipating for these manufacturers. The manufacturers are fast catching up. The problem Tesla faces here is that heretofore it has had relatively little competition. For this contract such as Hertz's, there weren't many other logical options if we're totally clear. However, that is going to decrease in magnitude over time as more and more manufacturers come up with decent mainstream models as opposed to focusing just on high-end EVs. So I suspect that their growth is going to be somewhat curbed as the other manufacturers get the act together, which they are certainly doing at the moment. So to my mind, the share price is high. I would regard it as a risk buying into Tesla at the moment, given the nature of the share price and given that I'm not sure it is necessarily supported by fundamentals. Nevertheless, that's a bit of an update on Tesla. And we've seen some positive news here. And the news has potentially been so positive that someone who was very bearish on Tesla, Michael Burry, who had previously called Tesla's shares overpriced and had called upon Elon Musk to issue overpriced shares. He appears to have reversed his short position and in so doing signaled at least a degree of not necessarily confidence with Tesla, but at least signaled a lack of willingness to bet against it. That could be due to the risks associated with going short in something like Tesla that has a lot of retail buyer support, or it could be due to a genuinely more positive feeling. Nevertheless, we're seeing some people back out of short positions. And that is positive news for Tesla, or at least a positive signal about how we think it might go in the future. Nevertheless, I would regard the share price as slightly risky to be investing in directly. Now, if you have any thoughts about Tesla's share price, any thoughts about what's going to happen to EVs more broadly, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, of course, it would be great if you liked the video and subscribed to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you for future videos as well. Bye.